Expectations are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. Hello my angel, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining us for the very first time, Ikamala Mustutu Zilezondo. We do all things motherhood and self-care here. Anyway, I hope that you do enjoy this video. And if you do, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Leave me a cute little flower emoji in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe. Listen, I'm gonna freestyle my intro until I get it, you know, and it's okay. Anyway, we are starting off a new vlog. Today's Sunday and we just uploaded um, this week's vlog, which I'm so excited about. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. The sun, the sun goes out, comes back here, pull me up, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, we wants to say hi. Say hi. Hi guys. Hi, <laughs> um, It's Sunday, you guys, and we're honestly relaxing and not doing much. But I, we just made iced coffee. Zubia was helping me make my iced coffee and it actually tastes good. I can say delicious and it means I drink my hot chocolate. Guys. How do you know because you didn't taste it? How do you know that the iced coffee is nice because you didn't taste it? Sugar <laughs> honey. I smell. Can I take the No, love. Remember, coffee is not for kids. Oh. When you drink hot chocolate and tea. Um, nothing much. I just wanted to come here, greet you guys, and start off this new weekly vlog. Um, <clears throat> later on, Zubia and I are going to go outside just for her to get some fresh air and play. <clears throat> and we're definitely going to take you guys along. Then I'm probably going to see you guys tomorrow. What are you cooking for me? I'm cooking um, custard. Custard. It is the second day of this vlog, you guys. Today's Tuesday and it's quite early in the morning. It's currently quarter past seven and we're about to leave the house. It's Tuesday and it's office day for me. Well, not every Tuesday, but today specifically, I need to go in the office because I have a few meetings. So yeah, I literally just want to pass out because out of all days that I need to go in the office, it just had to rain. Like it is raining so bad, you guys, but this is what i signed up for so i need to go in the office regardless of how i feel so yeah, let's go you guys quickly gonna go drop off Zubuya, and then we're gonna head to the office and i'll probably see you guys when we get there so yeah let's go Weather. The sun is shining. <laughs> I'm oily right now. I look crazy. My makeup looks crazy. It looks nice. Thanks, my angel. Anyway, it's currently half past five, you guys, and Zubia and I just got home. The sad part about it is that we have load shedding in the next 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So, I mean, being the mom that I am, I was like, obviously, low chilling is a sweet So, there's no way we're going to cook. So, I had to quickly go to, um, I had to go to Woolies and buy a few things. 
and when i was at woolies and pick and pay i was like hold up we have load shedding at six so i decided to buy us um dinner um, and it's just pies honestly but i also wanted to what i want to quickly go do hopefully they're going to be fine Mom, i want to quickly go put potatoes in the oven the way i want me to tell you guys you guys already saw earlier on when i was at the office she's currently having the donuts that i got her at the office honestly it's the donuts that my manager got <laughs> i didn't really pay for them my manager paid for everything but you know what anyway um what was i saying i'm rambling you guys can't really vlog much because load shedding like i mentioned but i think i'm actually gonna vlog because what we did yesterday when it was um when we had load shedding we also had load shedding at six yesterday so we quickly had dinner then right after having dinner we made milo and we chilled in bed and we watched a christmas movie i think today we're gonna do the same thing we're going to bath have dinner and when the lights go off, we're going to watch a Christmas movie and have some snacks. Zubia is going to have a donut. I'm going to have a brownie. I'm going to drink some Milo. Like it's just going to be a cozy night, um, which I'm really excited about. So I think, yeah, I'm probably going to try and vlog that. Let me vlog that. I'm not going to leave you guys now. We are going to definitely vlog that. But I'll probably speak to you guys tomorrow if anything happens <laughs> so yeah let's wrap up my work day and just end it off on a nice cozy note guys the amount of dishes that i have in the sink let me tell you something yo guys in pillow the dishes that i have right now as again i still have dishes from yesterday last night dinner because right after i finished cooking dinner the lights went off we had dinner and the plan was to make wash the dishes when the electricity comes back I was too tired. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. Anyway, I'm rambling, guys. Okay, so Zohamba. Let's go wash the dishes and prepare just for the night. Asambe, we literally have 30 minutes. First, let me run a bath for this girl so that she can bath before the lights go off. I actually wanted to, I went to pick and pay to specifically buy this pasta sauce because I've been wanting to try it out. So this is the main reason why I went to pick and pay. And then I also wanted to get Parmesan cheese. So yeah. Look at this guys. <laughs> yeah, I buy. <laughs> I just quickly made, <laughs> whipped up these um, potato pray for me that they actually get ready before the electricity goes out <laughs> I'm gonna need to handle really because wow but these potatoes are from Woolies so something about me I believe in Woolies okay let's see I don't know how it's gonna hopefully they'll be fine I hope so anyway let us tackle that I don't know, should I go take a shower? No, I can do this. I can even take a shower with the electricity it's gone. So let's wash the dishes before I get lazy. Because one thing about me, before I even change, because if I take a shower, I eat and I change, these dishes will miss me. Show me devotion, I could trust in Check 
call it. Oh guys, it's so hot. Mm. I have turned up the heat because a few minutes away before load shedding. Oh, so I need to make sure that we have hot water for my room later on. Let's quickly do this. Add water here. So I can buy more candles. Yeah. Uh -uh. Guys, please watch the ads so I can buy more candles. This pie open for you, you know? <coughs> This is our load shading dinner. <laughs> hmm? What do you make? What did I make? Pie. Did you cut it? Pie. It's a pie. Pie. You made pie. I bought it. <laughs>
care now. A little bite. It's another day of this vlog. What day is it today? Today is Thursday. <laughs> today is Thursday. You guys, like, I don't know. I don't know whether it's because, like, you know, when you're just so not used to going to the office, I feel like whenever I go to the office, like, whichever week I go to the office, like, and bear in mind, I go to the office once. I, like, literally this week I went to the office on Tuesday. And, guys, I just feel like once I'm at office, the rest of the week, I just feel so damn tired. Like, I am exhausted. <laughs> This is bad because like I'm just so used to being working from home. But anyway, it's okay. We need to get back to it. In a today's Thursday, you guys. In Gazi, it looks I look crazy, but guys in Gizzi, okay. I did bath this morning. I did take a shower. Um, I think it's just my hair because I didn't really brush my hair properly. And also, like when my hair starts to grow out like this, like it drives me nuts a bit. This is the feeling I get when I just feel like I should go cut it. But I'm not gonna cut it because we are literally a few weeks from December. I'm a December baby. If you knew here, guys, I was born in December. The first week of December, it's my birthday. And okay, let me because I was gonna be like, okay, I don't know whether by the time it's my birthday, if I wanna dye my hair then. But I just know because sometime in December I have to dye my hair. I wanna dye my hair, not that I have to dye my hair, I wanna dye my hair. So yeah, anyway um so i'm not gonna cut it but initially if the plan was to not dye my hair in december i was gonna go cut it because this length is just awkward for me but anyway still looking cute or whatever been working all morning you guys it's currently like um going to 12 um we had load shedding earlier on but i was working nonetheless so it's almost like 12 o'clock and honestly i just have this thing in my i just have this thing we chest me that i just need to let out you know I, like i just feel like i wanted to talk to you guys about something like i just really wanted to let it out i wanted us to have like a a mini chat you know um but before we do that i'm hungry i'm just gonna pop my phone in my in the charger for a bit i needed to charge quickly and while it does that i'm gonna go make myself a quick meal like initially i would have made eggs and stuff because it's only like 12 but honey i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna warm up yesterday's leftovers that's what i'm gonna have <laughs> that's what i'm gonna have i'm gonna go warm up i had coffee this morning but like it's almost like 12 now and i'm gonna have the first meal of um the day and i'm gonna go warm up leftovers i'm so excited Yesterday, I made meatballs and pasta and yeah, anyway, I feel like it's our current favorite meal in this house at this very moment. And one thing about me, when I like something, I will make it, especially if I find something that I enjoy and we enjoys at the same time, I will cook it till Njeng. So look at Pinda. But like I do, honestly, next year, I need to try more recipes. I need to make new, different recipes. That is one of um, my goals for next year. Anyway, let's go do that, you guys, before this battery dies. Let's just, I'm gonna go warm up um, yesterday's meal and then I'm gonna come back and chat to you guys because I really want us to chat. I just, there's something I wanna let out and I just feel like it might help someone or someone might be going through it, the exact same thing that I'm going through. So why not talk about it? Why not talk about it? so i'm looking at this bird like guys i get distracted so easily <laughs> it's like a cute little bird out here on the grass anyway let's go so <clears throat> i've just had a few bites you guys and i was saying that the star of the show it has to be this babe the meatball and the last time i made the meatballs i forgot to add milk like in the whole mixture and everything i forgot to add some milk and they really do make a difference because i feel like the last time i made it the meatballs were a bit dry but right now they're so moist and tender mm, it's so good that's the milk anyway let me finish chewing so you guys since after all I always say this to you guys that this channel is all about motherhood <clears throat> and self-care. 
self-care for me what is self-care for me self-care for me is taking care of myself but what i realized is that and taking care of myself not only just the physical part of it so when i say taking care of myself not just the aspect of me putting on a mask resting <clears throat> taking a day off to rest and relax um not only just the physical things of it where how i enjoy setting the mood how i enjoy cooking a home-cooked meal um, and the list is long right um i think self-care it all you have to divide define it for you for yourself but for me that's that that is just self-care like taking care of myself but not only just the physical part of it which i feel like i've been doing and i'm so proud of myself for doing it i feel like compared to this year from last year to this year i've honestly made a huge difference in terms of taking care of myself right and i'm just so happy and and if you've watched my vlogs if you're new here you could always just go back and check but if you've been here you know that for us here even if it's not a self-care vlog but in any vlog that we do somehow prioritize taking care of yourself i prioritize taking care of myself and one of the reasons why I decided that my channel is all going to be about motherhood and self-care is that I just want not only just mothers, but everyone basically. I almost want my channel to be some form of an escape for anyone, be some a form of an inspiration basically for anyone to say, guys, you don't have to have a lot of money for you to take care of yourself. If you can just spare 100 rand for you to buy yourself flowers, if you can spare 100 rand for yourself for you to buy a small candle because personally i'm not rich um <laughs> so every little that i can do every month just to show myself some love i will do and i really want this channel to be some form of an inspiration for you also whether you're a mother whether you are a student whatever you are just to inspire you from now to be like to yourself okay listen this month i'm going to get myself a candle this month i'm going to, today i'm going to rest i'm going to dedicate to this saturday for me to just rest and put myself first right because i feel like most of the times i don't know my life honestly compared to this last year and this year it has changed drastically like i feel like since i started living with my child this year if you don't know and you're new to my channel before this i never used to live with my child full time she was living with her grandmother due to obviously financial reasons like i was still in school and stuff etc etc but then beginning of this year not even beginning of this year this year i started to live with her full time which is the best decision i could have made for myself right and i'm so happy i i'm just much more wholesome happier i just love living with my baby but also i've noticed that being a mom full-time i it requires for me to go 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 like i work i'm a mom routines nighttime routine bedtime routine morning routines like it's just a go 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 so hence i figured i need to incorporate a little bit of me like taking care of myself and i do not want to neglect myself right and in the process of doing that i have come to realize that wow you've been doing an amazing job in terms of prioritizing yourself taking care of yourself physically and all of that but i don't think that i've prioritized taking care of myself when it comes to emotionally when it comes to mentally i think mentally yes but also like emotionally and the reason why i say this is this guys we also need to take care of ourselves in a sense of the type of people that we have in our lives the type of friends that you have the type of partner that you have how do they affect your life do they affect your life in a positive way right and i say this in a sense of i was like to my friend the other day friend i've noticed that this year has honestly been a year where i spoil myself like this year has been the time the year where i treat myself the way i want my partner to treat me right i've been treating myself i've been showing myself so much love the way i want my partner that god has placed for me to also treat me to also show me how much they actually like my love language is like the way i want to be loved i've been doing that for myself i've been showing myself that love but why am i still allowing certain people in my life who do the total opposite 
that's not putting myself first so i honestly had to think to myself and be like listen as much as i can take care of myself but i also need to prioritize and make sure that people who don't take care of me and don't show me love as much as i want to be loved and don't love me as much as i want to be loved and don't show me that listen i love you in a way that i want to be shown how what are they called again what is it called again i forgot all right the name here i forgot what it's called oh my goodness um but i'm doing that for myself but why am i allowing people in my life in why am i allowing certain people in my life that don't do that that affect me in a negative way that's me not taking care of myself that's me not putting myself that's me not doing self-care in certain parts of my life and i feel like i had i had to go through what i went through last weekend if you haven't watched the vlog that we just got back from the vlog from last weekend please go check it out our sunday vlog um i went through a form of heartbreak right and i feel like i needed that i feel like what happened on that specific saturday it needed for it needed to happen for me to actually wake up god had to like redirect me because i feel like god was just being like girl you've been here for so long like it's about time i actually redirect your life the way Nick redirected to the to the to the injela and from to uye guyo do you get it and i hope that i'm making sense because i might ramble and just you know sidetrack but i just feel like it needed to happen because i was in a position where i felt like um i feel like sometimes we stay in certain situations because of love but sometimes guys love is not enough like you can love a person you can care about the person so much but sometimes it's just not enough for you to stay like there are certain things where you realize with, oh my goodness this is how i want to be loved but this is not how this person is loving me you know so i just feel like the huge fight that happened that led to this whole thing was meant to happen and i was just like wow and i just woke up and i was so grateful and i was like god i'm grateful for you you for the fact that you just redirected me and guys god will not only just redirect you not just relationships in terms of our partners in terms of your friends um in a previous vlog i've mentioned how it is like losing friends in your 20s like i've been in a situation where i sort of like lost there are two friends that i went through like i lost in the process like in between the last few years where i lost and i felt like it was hard for me to let go like you keep going back like you keep fighting this thing but it's just like some things are just meant to happen and sometimes you just need to not fight it you just need to accept and be like okay maybe this is where you need me to, this is where god needs me to be at this very moment in my life and right now the friends that i have these are the type of these are the friends that to say these are going to be your girls for life these are the girls you're going to go through all your life with right i need to accept that and be okay with that so i have just noticed Uguti, like i have this habit of fighting for situations even when i'm not meant to be fighting like i struggle to let go of certain people in my life and not only just relationship but also friendships like relationships friendships and all of that and not only just that even family guys we i'm not gonna i don't think i'm that comfortable yet to talk about family but i feel like we all have family members that have hurt us to the core or family members that have done certain things to us but we always keep going back we i don't know whether this is just me but it's just a huge struggle for me and for me to actually go through the breakup that i went through i just had to realize with oh my god you've been taking care of yourself in certain ways in your life but also neglecting other parts in your life you know i need to the people that i have in my life at this very moment they love me they show me love in a way that i'm supposed the way that you know and i need to be okay with that and i also need to accept and be okay with the fact that it's okay this is the situation i'm in right now but i know with whatever's forward whatever's coming my way is probably going to be better than where i am at this very moment um so yeah you guys are you guys like i don't want to ramble too much because i feel like i've been talking for quite a bit um and my battery's gonna die <laughs> you guys 
Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm eating um, a peach. Also, it is a few hours later. A few hours later. So, when I was speaking to you guys, uh, my battery died. And I was just like, go, just get back to work. So, I think when I spoke to you guys, it was around like 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. Around that time, my battery died. So, and you just decided to get back to work. So, it's almost three o'clock <laughs> and decided to take a break from work and i'm having a snack i'm having this peach so i remember I'm like, oh my god <laughs> i didn't finish speaking to you guys like what what kind of a person am i mm. anyway I need to have my manners when I'm speaking to you guys. Anyway, I don't even remember where I ended. Yo, and I feel like the second time I was on a roll, like I was on another level, but I just don't know. But guys, from what I was saying, what I was saying, what was I saying? <laughs> what I was saying is, ne. In the midst of you taking care of yourself, in the midst of you doing self-care, showing yourself some love, taking care of yourself, resting, buying yourself some flowers, buying yourself the little things and anything that you just enjoy, the little things that you enjoy. When you do those things for yourself and you take care of yourself, like in terms of the physical, don't forget about the emotional, about the mental, about all of that. And a part of that is also looking at the type of people that you have in your life. Do those people do any service in your life? Are they adding anything to your life or are they just taking from you? You know, whether it be family, whether it would be your partner, whether it would be your friends, whatever the case may be, just look around you. Look at the people around you, you know, and we also just need to get to a point where we take care of ourselves in that other side like mentally emotionally and that part of ourselves and not just the physical part of it good morning you guys good morning it is saturday and i'm wearing the weirdest thing because it is cold and it is raining this weekend it's saturday and I am at my sister's house. So Zubi and I are visiting my sister. That's what we're doing with my sister. So she's busy. Um, we're just going to be spending the weekend together. We're not really going to be doing much today. But I'm obviously going to take you guys along with me during the day. I think we're just going to like be cooking, making food, staying indoors, watching Christmas movies. The kids are going to be playing. And yeah so yeah initially we wanted to do something outside but like it's so cold and it's rainy and stuff so we think we're just gonna be indoors and yeah you guys get to spend the day with us and today is definitely the last day of this vlog so guys i'm so excited to spend our saturday with you guys and also i just woke up and i'm currently making my coffee so yeah right now i'm just gonna drink coffee and chill a bit before I go make the bed and stuff and get ready for the day. about this I mean
Yo, this is beautiful. It'd be nicer, like a little bit bigger. A bigger size would look nice. <laughs> Ooh, was that fun? I tried the pumpkin spice frappuccino. Banusu. Why 
is she not finishing her drink? Oh my god, it's so good. Ah. What are you girls doing? Yeah, but we're not gonna put it on. No polish in the dark? Yeah. Oh no.